When I was just a little child, my grandma thought me rather wild when disobeying all her orders, I swam on out to the deeper waters. Oh, you think the bay is safe? She chided. Young lady, you are most misguided. Listen, I know a dreadful tale passed on to me by Uncle Dale, who heard it from his father's cousin, who heard it from at least a dozen other most reliable folk. So pay attention. It's not a joke. It was summer, 1873, an era of great prudery, when in olden days it wasn't right for boys and girls to bathe in sight of each other lest they caught a peak of luscious curves or male physique. So covered from the neck to knee and behind a fence and modesty, the ladies splashed and cooled their feet for small relief from scorching heat. Except Sadie, who'd misplaced her dog? He's disappeared, how very odd. Just beyond this peaceful scene, a monster lurked, twas no sardine. Its mouth was huge, its teeth were sharp, it circled in a teasing arc. But when its fin sliced through the water, Agnes screamed and grabbed her daughter. Shark! she cried. We could have died. This danger must be rectified. And Sadie sighed. <laughs> Where are you, Spot, you silly pup? It's far too hot to chase you up and down the sand. <laughs> it's not the sort of game I planned. Agnes, feeling some frustration, decided action must be taken. So quickly donned her summer dress, but uh, back to front it was the stress. Then holding tight her small girl's hand, she said, we'll have to take command, and set off for the railway station to fetch the handsome station master. Modern ladies run no faster. Dear husband, she said, I beseech there is a shark at Brighton Beach. Now, I know you are a busy man, but you and I must make a plan, for it's an awkward situation that requires imagination. Now, let me quickly tell the story, for I'm afraid things could get gory. Why, if proper action were delayed, a lady would be ready-made for the fish's appetizer, swallowed down and none the wiser. While listening to his lady wife, the gentleman prepared for strife. He removed his tie, pushed up his sleeves, rolled his trousers to his knees. Hmm, could I suggest a, uh, a hook and chain? And for the bait, a titbit plain. Oh, perhaps a little piece of ham? Or does the beast prefer spring lamb? First, Agnes scratched her head in thought, then said, I think salted pork would do the trick. But I'd advise we put the pig in some disguise. It seems to have a taste for lady. Oh, we'll dress it up like my friend Sadie. In a flash, they called the butcher. Yes, I can fulfill the order, but can't supply the clothes to dress. Make to a standard to impress a carnivore with a fussy taste. Agnes said, no time to waste. Just send the meat and I will stitch a clever costume to bewitch this fierce intruder to our beach. Oh, he'll wish he'd stayed beyond my reach. Well, the meat provided was curvaceous, but this seamstress was tenacious. With lace, a needle and a thread, she stitched until her fingers bled. When finally the pretty meal was said by all to be ideal. Sadie said, Oh, Agnes, you are clever. <laughs> it looks the spit of me. However, I do believe you're most unkind to emphasize my uh, plump behind. The meat bobbed gaily in the water. The crowd looked on to view the slaughter. Then suddenly the monster struck. He took the hook, his mouth was stuck. He pulled and tugged, put up a fight. Agnes gripped with all her might. Her husband said, hold fast, my dove, and I will whack it from above. The task was clearly mighty tough. One lady wasn't strong enough, so Mabel, Olive, Ethel, Ruby, Daphne, Phoebe, Nansen, Elsie gripped on the chain to lend support. And thus it was, the shark was caught. And though it was a bloody mess, 
The day was deemed a great success. For all who saw that belly bulging concluded it had been indulging and with a knife twas opened up and Sadie found her missing pup. <laughs> the one that had been flea infested was now clean and half digested. So, Grandma's tale comes to the end. You think it's false? Huh? It's true, my friend. But if you wish to verify the facts or seek to clarify the details, re poor Sadie's pet, just Google shark. It's on the net.